Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to The Past is Alive. We are back tonight with our episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday, the first night of the presidential debates. That's why I kicked this one up a little bit to 7.30 start time. We're doing 97 Tops Chrome. It's a set that I've never ripped open before. We did 98 about four or five months ago, and uh, we pulled some pretty awesome refractors. Refractors in these boxes are about two on average. Um, the odds are about one in 12 packs, so maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll see three. We've had it happen before, and we also have a chance of pulling some nice insert cards as well. Back in 97, these were three bucks a pack. We have 165 cards set, pretty much um, materializing all the best um, players of the base set from Tops in 97. But uh, let's get down... To rip in here, thank you for joining me. Uh, we have three stacks of eight packs. We have four cards per pack. And in the hot seat first is Matt P, who actually got um, pretty lucky in last week's break. He got both mantles, the mantle finest uh, from 96 tops. So he has the first four packs. Joe's Card Corral, Criterium Race, everybody else, thanks for joining us. Very sleek looking high tech design here. Double sided chromium diamond duo, season's best, and all stars along with refractors. Let's see what we can pull tonight. Brent's card breaks. Thanks for joining us. Like I said, four cards per pack. And you should see about two refractors on average. This is the final year that I collected cards before a long hiatus. So uh, it's definitely going to be fun to go back through these again. Paul O'Neill is the first. Uh, one here. Mark McGuire, Bleacher Reachers, right off the bat. Shout out to Jay Hadley if he's in here. That's a pretty nice one. First pack insert card. A little bit of stickiness there, but uh, check that one out. Pretty gnarly looking card with lightning bolts in the background. SB6, Big Mac Bleacher Reachers. Matt P, your luck continues tonight. Joey Hamilton and Travis Fryman. Might see, uh, well, actually, we definitely will see Travis Fryman's rookie because next Tuesday we're switching things up a little bit and um, we are ripping something that's pretty hard to get your hands on and pretty expensive too. We have 1990 Bowman Tiffany. We'll be doing a set break on these. I secured two boxes of these. They're pretty expensive. They're about $550 to $600 a piece online. So that is next week's break for Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. So I hope you'll join me for that. It's pretty nice to see the uh, Thomas Tiffany and Sammy Sosa, Bernie Williams, and everybody else. Second pack in, Roger Clemens leading off. I think there will be 16 spots for that, Mark, if you're interested. Chili Davis. Clemens is a nice sign in the second pack, though. Chili Davis. Karim Garcia. <laughs> Man, I would have loved that one back in 97. He was very, very hyped up. David Cohn, Crown Apple Kid. What's going on, man? Kareem Garcia. Luckily, not a refractor. I'd be pretty bummed out. Brian Bullington, good lord. Troy Percival on the back of the next pack. We kind of got screwed over when we did Top's Finest from, I think, 96, 97. Chipper Jones is a nice sight, though. Jay's Openings, that was not a refractor. I wish it was, man. We have our first refractor. I think it might be Jose Canseco. I can kind of see the side of the card. Chipper Jones, let's move out to the back of the pack here. Percival, Chipper Jones, Jose Canseco refractor. Pretty freaking awesome. Very, very nice. Jose Mesa ends the pack out, but check that out. Definitely a little off center there, left to right. But uh, a nice name, though. Could have been a Jose Mesa refractor instead. We definitely got lucky on that pack. Matt P, your good luck continues, man. A couple insert cards are the uh, the Big Mac Bleacher Reachers and the Canseco refractor onto your last pack. In the very first stack, Ray Ordonez, another big name for around this time that I was really hyped up on. Jack McDowell, James Baldwin, Todd Hollinsworth, another guy I was hyped on for whatever reason, and Ray Ordonez. Ends that stack out. Off to a good start. Refractor 1 is already down in the books. Jose Canseco, and we are moving along to the bottom left. We're switching it up some tonight. Let me get caught up here in the comments. Daddy Daughter Card Breaks is here. It says, love these in 97. Awesome set. Hope all is well, John. Clay, thank you for joining us. I just sent a package out to you yesterday, so you should have it. Um, I don't know. You should have it any day now. 
Daddy Daughter Cards Breaks, appreciate you being here. Let me post a link to your channel real quick. Almost at 900 subs, five away. If you're not sub to Daddy Daughter, check them out. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you very much, Brian Z. And Mark R comes in right after him and says, Welcome, new subscriber, <laughs> OE Forward. <laughs> Mark for Mark R, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Always good to have you in here. You should have a package for me probably tomorrow or the next day, too, with a nice little goodie inside that I think you're going to like. Brian Z, you're up next. The bottom left, let's get it started here. Alan Bennis leading off. Devon White on top. Nice thing about Chrome cards is they may stick together, but you're never going to have paper loss. Al Martin, who we bit in half last week. Alex Fernandez and Alan Bennis. I'm glad I don't have to bite that card. John Fishman is also in here. Paul L., thank you for bringing that up. Sorry that I missed that. John Fishman says, can't get enough of <laughs> Geronimo Barroa in this set. John Fishman, nice name drop there. Maybe we'll see a Jerome Burrow. I know we saw enough of him, I think, in the freaking 96 finest. <laughs> that might have been actually one of the refractors. Damon Giambi, Coppinger, and Manny Ramirez is a nice one in pack two. Brian Z, I don't know if you're in here or not, but nice Manny there. Jerome Burrow des deserved a mention. <laughs> the brothers of Elaine Bennis. Sean Fishman, hopefully you went back and watched the uh, the previous Yak Pack rip that we did before. Wade Boggs in the back. Mo Rivera. Very, very nice. I think that was what, like uh, the seventh year anniversary of him stepping down, I think, yesterday or the day before. It was a couple days ago. Mo Rivera, one of the best, if not the best, to ever do it. The Sandman. Bobby Higginson, Brady Anderson, and Wade Boggs. Two nice Yankees blemish to the top there. I'm not sure if that's just on what that is, but uh, very, very nice. Rivera and Wade Boggs in pack three. <laughs> John Fishman says it is so bad it is good. <laughs> that should be that should be their slogan. I got to send that uh, instant winner card in. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll do that and make a video about it and see what kind of trash that uh, they send me back. Jermaine Allensworth, cringeworthy name that I'm sure Joe's card corral can relate to. Fred McGriff, that's a cool shot of him, though. McGriff on top. Kenny Lofton. And nothing else really too notable in there. Some cringeworthy names for Paul L. McGriff and Lofton, two nice ones, though. No sign of any refractors in that pack. Rivera, probably my favorite card in that stack. Definitely one of them, at least. Um, and we're moving on to... The top middle. Next four, we have John A. This box was, geez, this box cost me like 180 bucks, I think, something like that. It's crazy because they, they're all over the place. Like if you look at eBay sold listings, there's ones that have sold for like best off for like 175. There's ones that have sold for like 120 like several weeks ago. So they definitely jump all over the place. But, uh, I wanted to rip some more chrome from the 90s that I've never got to experience. So next week we will do Bowman Tiffany. I'm pretty excited for that. Daryl Strawberry. Nice one there. No more Garcia Parra. Glavin and Andy Pettit. Definitely probably the best pack we've seen so far. All around good players in there. Four nice ones. John A. Yankee fan too. So I think he would kind of like that pack. Possible new bad omen. Put him on the watch list, Paul. Manny Ramirez again. Raul Mondesi for Corey, who I don't think is in here. And Albert Bell. Albert Bell was a big one back in this time. I would have been stoked on that card. James D says, these take me back to my heyday in 90s collecting. That's awesome, man. This is a, These are the final Topps card that I bought before I, I don't know, thought I was too cool to collect cards or something. And I just lost interest, I guess, and moved on until like 2013 when I discovered it again. It was awesome. Pudge Rodriguez, nice one there. Yeah, I heard the Yankees are winning. Eddie Murray, another nice one. Two back-to-back -back Hall of Famers, Rondell White and Pat Henkin. He had some good years. Jake Pieces, I wouldn't mind getting the McGuire and Bonds on this set. Yeah, Bonds and McGuire base would be nice. We pulled the McGuire insert earlier. Final pack for John A.,
That was Mike LaValliere for a second. Mike Lansing on the back of this one. Henry Rodriguez. We have an insert card. It looks like an all-star. Mike Lansing. And, of course, the slow reveal was ruined by the stickiness of these cards. Jim Tomei, another Hall of Famer. Nice one there. And it's going to be Gary Sheffield. Check it out. Those are a pretty good-looking card, though. Sheffield, who more than likely will make the Hall at some point here in the next few years. A very cool design and uh, flashy. I like those a lot. John A., last pack. Sheffield inserted Tomei. Not too bad at all. Devon White was hanging out by himself for some reason. And that takes us on to... Yeah, I like that card a lot. That's definitely a sick insert. Chrome has always been awesome. Mark R., you're up next. Bottom middle. Good luck to you, man. Let's see if we can find you. One of these last three stacks is another refractor in it, supposedly, if you go by the odds. So let's see uh, who's going to get it. You know, one in three chance. 33.333%. Austin Farmer, what's happening? Jonathan H. is in here. Says, John Jab's the best. Definitely, probably. <laughs> Jonathan, thanks for being with us, man. Always good to see you. Wherever you are, appreciate you uh, popping in here, man. Thank you very much. Greg Jeffries. The big old smile on his face. And, of course, the inserts are given away. Juan Gonzalez. See his card next week in Bowman Tiffany. Ron Gant had some slugging years. John Smoltz Hilltoppers. Another uh, one of these SB cards, kind of like Bleacher Reachers. Smoltz Hilltoppers off center. Left to right. But uh, nice pack, though. Juan gone and uh, the Smoltz insert. Greg Jeffries low-key looks like Ben Savage in that pick. He definitely does. The first Chrome set was 96. That was the very first year they started doing it. And then the very first Bowman Chrome set was 97. Larry Walker on the back. Another guy we'll be looking for in 90. Bowman, a checklist. That is the fanciest checklist I've ever seen. Whoa, check this out. A couple of nice subset cards in here. Horrible, horrible cut job on this one. Somebody was hammered at the factory that day. That is way out of line. Larry Walker also uh, felt the wrath of the machine that day. Paul Molitor, actually the box top here. Another one that's off center. Of course it had to be this pack. Molitor highlights and Eddie Murray highlights. Two awesome looking cards, but uh, yikes. Mark R. <laughs> Three Hall of Famers in that pack. and uh Centering is horrid. John Fisher says Rock and Coppinger at PSA 10 is pop. <laughs> it's a population one in this set. I don't doubt it, man. Somebody send that one in. Please send that one in and see if we can get uh, the pop two up there. And he can say goes Brand 37. Appreciate that, John Fishman. Uh, Brand 37 asked for any can say goes. You know what? The very first pack we pulled this, a can say go refractor. Very nice. There's still a lot of uh, can say go PC collectors out there. Or I should say, guys at PC and PC collector doesn't sound right. Personally, collect, collect. Jeff Bagwell leading off. Nice one. Our second refractor shows up. And, of course, every freaking pack. I always got to do that to me. Bagwell. Brett Boone. And it's going to be Hal Morris. I don't think I've ever been so depressed to see a Hal Morris card. Mark R., maybe you're a Hal Morris super collector. I don't know. Personally, I hated him. <laughs> I really hated him in the 90s. Not a fan. Shallow Hal is our second refractor. We might see another one, though. We've gotten lucky before and beat the odds. <laughs> Mark R. says no. Freaking Hal Morris. How did that card even make it into this set? It was supposed to be like the most prominent card to the regular top set. And freaking Hal Morris makes it in there. Jeff Conine. Hey, Lewis, what's happening? Tim Salmon. Cool one. Eric Karos. Smoltz. And Jeff Conine ends that pack out for Mark R. Chris Bolton, what's happening, man? Bottom middle is secured. Takes us to Joker 68. Next up is Marvin Bernard. <laughs> I freaking hope not, man. It's another kind of cringe name from the 90s. How did Rocky get in this set? I don't know, man. 
I have no idea. Diamond Duo Refractor will be sick. There's a Klesko. Joker 68. Good luck to you, man. Greg Vaughn leads off. A little bit of stickiness there. Greg Vaughn. Old JV Lopes, as we used to call him. Dean Palmer action shot. And Klesko. That's a cool shot, though. like that photo. First pack down for Joker 68, a.k.a. Kurt. Paul, so I played the old video games when I was younger. I hated Marvin Bernard for no reason. We hated him, too. There's a lot of guys on our hate list. And uh, I really couldn't tell you why for most of them. I think Hal Morris had a, like one card in particular we didn't like, so we just hated him because of that. Steve Finley, Andy Bennis, Jack McDowell, and James Baldwin. Kind of a dud pack there. Steve Finley's a nice one. His cards never really had any significant value to him. But definitely a good player, though. And David Justice leading off this pack. And Arkan Seiko, Barry Bonds' base is a nice one. This, this whole box is like the centering is just off pretty badly. It's either left to right or top to bottom. But Bonds' base is definitely a nice one, though, Joker. Criterion Racer, thank you, man. I appreciate that. You got a big package full of stuff that you should get, I think, tomorrow. I stuffed it full of goodies for you. Hopefully you'll like what's inside. Appreciate that, man. If I can get this last pack open. There we go. Chris Bolton is a Conseco collector. Yeah, I don't know if you saw the uh, refractory pool earlier or not. There it is. Eckersley leading off here. Will Clark. Nice one there. Branch has a lot of supplements in that last pack. Matt Williams, another decent one. And Carlos Baerga might see his uh, rookie card next week in uh, Bowman Tiffany. Where are you at our last stack? These boxes go by way too fast. And the last one, usually, most of the time, it's always Joe B. Obsessed Collectors of X Rookies Evading My Hunts. I haven't seen his rookie card in a while. I used to see it all the time for like 10 bucks or less. If I see it for a decent price, I'll pick it up for you. I'll let you know. But it's been a while. Where's that Joe Forward guy? <laughs> Jeff Cirillo. Luis Castillo leads off. I don't know how he made this set either. Scott Rowland, another potential uh, for a future Hall of Fame consideration there. Rowland, Harold Baines. And a Jeff Cirillo. These are nice nice cards, though. The design's pretty cool. I don't mind it. Old Chuck Knobloch. Griffey, nice. Joe, you got the Griffey. I don't know if you collect him or not. I have, I have a feeling that you don't, but uh, about time we saw the Griffey base come out of here, and it's actually not too bad looking either. Very, very nice. And a Sosa right behind him. Let's check this uh, Griffey out, the 101. Very nice. like that one a lot. Sosa, McGuire. Talk about a hell of a pack. Sosa, McGuire after him. And then Chuck Knobloch crushes our spirits on that pack. But hell of a pack. Who doesn't like... <laughs> Joe Yanks says everyone likes Griffey. I figured, but there's some people out there that are weird like that. They uh, There could be one guy that, you know... I don't like him. Yeah, the 97 power guy. That's pretty crazy, huh? Lewis is a buyer trade for the Griffey. Joe Baumgarten. Elias is a big Griffey collector. Dante Bichette. Todd Walker, another big prospect from this time. Mike Mussina is a nice one. And Bobby Bow. So weird seeing him in an Orioles uniform. I don't think I'll ever get used to that. Last pack of the break already. Jeez. Freaking fly through these four card packs. CV Baseball card collectors. What's happening, man? Thanks for joining us. Appreciate all you guys for being here. I know it's. Uh, Critical night. I know everyone's going to be watching TV here in a bit. That's why I pushed the time up earlier. Final pack of the night. Card breakers, what's up, man? Let's rip some 92 score. The last pack, we have an insert card. Joe Yankee. Let me try not to ruin this for everybody with my fat fingers. It's an all-star card. My personal favorite from these. Edgar Martinez is a nice one. Ricky Henderson. We got two Hall of Famers right there. Could it be another refractor? It's possible. Jason Kendall Gold Cup card. Scott, what's up, man? You're just in time. Third base. Jim Tomei. It's a refractor. Freaking sweet. 
three refractors out of what should have been a two refractor box. The odds are one in 12. We beat the odds once again. And a Tome Refractor All-Star insert card. Very nice. Joe Baumgart, you have great luck with pulling refractors, man. I can't remember who it was out of the last box, 98, that uh, we pulled. It was a rookie card. I know that, but I can't remember who it was. Um, you got some good luck, man. Very, very nice. And a beautiful-looking card without the refractor. And, uh, yeah, there you have it. Very, very good box. Uh, we saw pretty much all the biggest names. Well, we saw a good bit of them at least. Saw some duds too, but overall, uh, I think we did pretty good. Conseco Refractor, Tome, and a couple nice insert cards. And Jonathan H is typical John enough to, to get excited finish too fast. <laughs> that is just a low blow. That is dirty, man. Dirty and not true. But I guess it's true in uh, in this uh, situation. Jonathan H, thanks for sticking around for an entire break. I feel like I haven't seen that in probably a good, a good year to a year and a half. Good to have you with us to the very end. And the same goes for all you guys. Appreciate you watching. 97 Chrome, like I said, these boxes bounce around from like, I don't know, 120 bucks to upwards of 200. If you want to take a risk and go after one, it's definitely uh, a fun rip. 96, I think, go for like 400. They're definitely up there. But next week, we are ripping 1990 Bowman Tiffany. I don't think there's anybody on YouTube ripping one of these boxes or sets. So uh, we'll get a first glance at these. Frank Thomas, rookie card, Larry Walker, Sosa, Juan Gonzalez. There's plenty in there to see, plenty of Hall of Famers. So I hope you will join me next week for that. And um, hopefully I'll have a video for you guys later on in the week. So stay tuned, stick around, and uh, enjoy the rest of your week, guys. appreciate you watching. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed, and like the video if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it, guys. Have a great night. I'll see you all next time. Take care.